Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks who got their uh, team straight up. There's also a team random for those following teams right here. We sold 10 spots for the 10 teams. So everyone's guaranteed a team, just a random team. Some will be more than the cost of the spot. Some will be about the cost of the spot. And some teams, of course, will be under the cost of the spot. Big thanks to these folks right here for filling that part up. Let's randomize that list. Rolling the dice. There you go. Four and a four. Eight the hard way. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Chris Parent down to Mark Matheson after eight times. So there you go. We'll match up with those teams right there. Chris with the Mariners. And we'll put that little symbol next to your name so you know you got that in a team random. Ryan Redman, you got my Dodgers. Louie with the Cubs. Jeremy Anderson with the O's. Adam, you got Oppo Joe Mojo. You got the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Scott with the Redbirds, the Cardinals. We've got Stephen K. You have the Tribe. David Duffy, you got the Tigers and Pirates. And Mark, you have the Diamondbacks. Who got the Reds? That's not on this list. We're at zeros, so someone must have gotten them. EA got the Reds in break six. Who got them in break five? Uh, Matthew Bodner got the Reds a couple days ago in break five. Sorry, Matt. All right, let's get this printed out. Let's get it going. Good luck, everybody. We got Nick Stanley. Nick, you want to you want to be on camera for a second? Say hi. There's, there's Nick Stanley. He he got that Kyler Murray last night, which was really cool. Um, out of out of elements, which we can do tonight as well. So he came up to to pick it up. Yeah, we got a lot of baseball coming up this month too, ladies and gentlemen. So it'll be a lot of fun. There you go. Saturday, July 20th, pick your team five. There's everyone right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Barry Roberts, Last Spot Mojo Nationals. All right. There's the full case right there. Okay, awesome. There's the Donner's Optic. Good luck, everyone. Two hot box, two parallel hot boxes, and two autograph hot boxes per case. Now this break will take a minute or two, ladies and gentlemen, but we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this video. So if you are watching the replay, then you can watch that autograph recap 
video if you don't want to watch this whole thing. This break does this break takes an hour. It doesn't feel like an hour though. There's a, there's enough things to see, um, which makes it visually easier to easier to watch. A lot of parallels to look at. A lot of autograph hot boxes to look at. Autograph hot boxes, two of them per case. There'll be five autos per box, and then the parallel hot box is like twenty parallels, numbered parallels. A box as opposed to the usual like uh, two to two to five or something like that. So. You want to see it? I could drag that. You can grab that chair. All right. Roy, yeah, I'll I'll be sure to I'm sure to let them know. I think there was um, a mix-up with that particular random number block for those. So we're in the process of getting some cards uh, back to us and then back out. So it's gonna it's gonna take some time, but. But I think we're, it's all it's all being figured out. 21 out of 99, Miles Straw. We'll set those parallels off to the side. Charlie Blackman to 199. Looks like the parallel hot box right here. There's Bryce Wilson to 75. Blake Snell to 199. Brian Anderson to 75. Victor Robles, last spot mojo. That's to 60 right there, 54 out of 60. Ty France to 125. And Otani is just a regular insert. That'll still ship. Walker Bueller to 125, just a parallel. I hate it when they're flipped around like that. It makes you think that it's an autograph. Kevin Newman to 99. You know, I've gotten used to them not having logos, but every once in a while, you're just like, oh, yeah, it's not there. <laughs> some, some cards, they hide it. They hide it, they, they hide it really well, yeah. Garrett Hampson to 150. Daniel De Los Santos to 50. Danny Jansen, We the People to 76. Very patriotic there. Yeah, Cano to 60 and a lot of different colors and a lot of different... This might be an autograph. It is, Joe Adele. Rated prospect autograph. That's a nice one. That'll be for the Angels. Brian Peoples with that. It's one of their top prospects in the Angels organization. Mitch Hanniger to 60. Miguel Sano to 150. Michael Perez, We the People, to 76. And your other autograph is Jason Kipnis. Optic Autos for the Tribe. Stephen K, Indians. Hot streak, still going. Yeah, Brian Peoples streak still going too. There's Luis Urias to 150. That's for Brian's Padres. All right, box two. Dennis is asking, what's the price range for Chrome and Immaculate? I think Topps Chrome should be relatively similar to Donner's Optic Baseball, price point wise. And Immaculate's gonna be a lot more expensive. That's like a few hundred bucks a box or something like that. So that'll be an expensive one.
All right, box two. Brian also, Brian Peebles, who's in the in the room right now, is on, uh, has, I think he's purchased the Padres at almost all, all of these breaks that we have. He is four for four on Fernando Tatis Jr. We're gonna see if uh, we can make it five for five with this case. July is going to be a busy new release month, ladies and gentlemen, so save your, save your pennies. You know, and sell some of the stuff like that, that you have that you don't really need, ladies and gentlemen. I know a lot of you probably have pretty sizable, uh, collect, maybe some of some stuff you don't need. So sell some cards, move some stuff, try to get some of the new releases, baseball, basketball, football, all sorts of things. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. Kyle Freeland, pink velocity to 199. There's Jaime Candelario to 125. We got Jackie Bradley Jr. to 50. We got JD Martinez to 99. Slide all these parallels over here next to me. Right here. Freddie Freeman. Some sort of like Twilight parallel or star parallel or something like that. There's Joey Votto to 75. For the Reds, there's Mookie Betts. Shohei Otani. Starling Marte to 60. Jose Urania to 75. We've got John Lester to 35, lower number there. And out of 75, this is just a parallel. Darwin's on Hernandez for the Red Sox. Jack Flaherty to 199. Kyle Tucker, autograph. That is for EA and the Astros. There you go. Nice rated rookie autograph. Kyle Tucker. Set that aside here. Dennis Santana to 150. Uh, Brandon Crawford to 199. Sean Newcomb for the Braves to 125. And we've got Odubel Herrera for the Phillies. Phillies auto going to Mark Matheson and the Fighting Phils. Mark, that is numbered 9 out of 49. There's Ryan Baruki to 125. Blue Jays. David Bodie to 199. Got Kristen Stewart to 50 for the Tigers. Yohan Mankata, White Sox. That's to 125. Bryce Harper to 150. And Trevor Story to 35. All right, so those are your two boxes from that box. Next box, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you know what? Those first two boxes may have been parallel hot boxes. Because there was a lot. I've got a huge stack next to me. So that looks like those were the two parallel hot boxes knocked out already. So we'll just be looking for the autograph hot boxes from here on out. Just two final scores in baseball. We got Cubs edged out the Padres six to five, and the Yankees beat the Rockies eleven to five. And a bunch of games in progress. Oh, the Mets game, Mets Giants game just finished up. 
Mets finally beat the Giants 11 to 4. Um, Tigers. Hello. Tigers up 3 1 on the Blue Jays. But there's a delay on the bottom of the fourth. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, they probably will. I hope so. I'm on, I'm on the Blue Jays tonight. White Sox and Rays are tied at zeros. Red Sox up 4 nothing on the Orioles early on. Phillies Pirates tied at zero. They just started. That's the second inning. Second inning, Cardinals Reds are tied. Uh, Kansas City up early, one nothing in the bottom of the second. Rangers Astros at zeros. Second inning, Twins up two nothing on the A's. Top of the second. That's still early. And Braves up early, one nothing on the Nationals. Johnny O, what's going on? Yes, that's it. Thank you. A lot of your shipments going out. Every day, yeah. Or except for Sunday. But yeah. Uh, John, this is uh, Pick Your Team 5. It's Rory with the Brewers in this one. And uh, no Kestens yet for him. But knowing Rory's luck, John... If I don't pull any for him here, there'll certainly be one for you in the next case. So yeah, Gabe, that does look like we the first two boxes were parallel hot boxes, so those are done, because usually there's only about a few in each box. Felix Hernandez to 60. Jordan Alvarez. Rated prospect autograph for the Astros. EA with that one too. I was actually only reminded yesterday that he was a former Dodger prospect. I totally forgot about that. I don't know who we traded. I think we traded. I'm not sure who we traded for that. But he's raking. And Miles Straw autograph. Astros box for EA. So he gets both of those youngsters. This is Glaber Torres, We the People, 76. There's Tuki Toussaint to 150. And there's Ryan Baruki on the back. All right, next one. going in here. Alright, next box. Good luck, everybody. Have not seen the autograph hot box yet. It's got to be in there somewhere. There's two, five autograph hot boxes. Be looking out for that. Have not pulled any gold vinyl yet. One of ones. Got to look out for some of those too. I feel like we've gotten nearly all of the big rookies, at least one. So they they exist. They're in there. Team 5. 
Pick Your Team 6 is in the store right now. JaspiesCaseRakes.com if you want to get into that. We can do another one tonight. Rated rookie autograph, Daniel Ponce de Leon for Scott and the Cardinals. He got that in a team random. Yeah, I saw that, John. You got you got that non-sports spot in Ginter 5, I think it was. That'll, that'll break tomorrow. Gilo, that's right. Post Malone does have autographs in Ginter this year. Which is kind of random. But, yeah, he's there. There's Brendan Rodgers to 125. Chris Bryant for the Cubs to 60. Nick Senzel to 60. And Forrest Whitley, rated prospect, another Astro for EA. I feel like we need to find some lower number autos now, EA. Got a lot of base autos. Start working on some of those parallels. All right, another box in the books. Next box. John saying been collecting Ginter for about ten years, and I can safely say this is the first year there has been legit buzz about it, and you don't know why. Hmm. I wonder why. I feel like the checklist isn't is, is the usual sort of solid quirky checklist that they usually have. I don't know. Maybe that could be just a sign of of like the hobby just growing. Just people just just being more knowledgeable about all the different sets that have been coming out these days. So that that could be that could be part of it. I know stuff like Optic, you know, resells really well, popular with set builders and so I think just overall. But yeah the uh, prices have been crazy too. It's good for the hobby. Hashtag good for the hobby. We saw a triple rip card. The the per, the person opted not to, or I don't think the person was in the room. But I think there's like three minis in there. The triple ripped. I think is that the first year, John? Triple rip cards. I don't think they've ever done that, right? But it's crazy they're like in those box toppers, so oh, they're they're, they're, yeah, they're huge, yeah. Yeah, and maybe the hype is the Post Malone, Johnny O. Maybe Post Malone's been raising the profile of Ginter. That's possible. I mean, he's huge. You know, so if he's just like telling his fans, hey, I got autographs in this set, then they're all like, oh. There's Nick Senzel to 35. And there's Brendan Rogers autograph, rated prospect auto for the Rocks. David Duffy with the Rockies, 56 out of 99. First year for that, okay, so first year for the triple, and first year for the stained glass mini. I haven't seen any of the stained glass ones. I've, we pulled a, I pulled a couple wood minis. I think Jason pulled a couple stained glass. There's Matt Chapman to 199. Oh, right, Danielle from American Pickers is in Ginter too. <laughs> That's right, I forgot about that. So there you go. So that's another very popular show. So if those two, Post Malone, American Pickers, those guys are raising the profile. Alan Ginter. I'm surprised Panini hasn't purchased like an old like tobacco brand 
and done something like that. Ooh, Ken Griffey Jr. One of the nicest autographs in the hobby. That's for the Mariners. Chris Parent, who got randomized the Mariners, gets the Ken Griffey Jr. MVP signatures on card autograph. Nice. Yeah, it's not so bad, right? There you go, Chris. <laughs> Panini's like, you guys are talking about all this Ginter. Don't forget about me. <laughs> all right, next box. After this one, we'll be halfway through this break. Uh, no question yet, Rory. Johnny O just asked the same question too before you popped in. And I was just like, well, if I don't get any for Rory, knowing Rory's luck, it'll probably be in the, in the next case for John. still have plenty of case to go. We haven't even hit the hot boxes yet, the autograph hot boxes. Okay, <laughs> Rory bought a gold today. Oh, okay, so an out of five or a one of one gold vinyl will suffice. All right, we'll try to find one of those. I don't think we've seen a train whistle auto yet, right? Out of optic? I don't think we have yet. I know we've had some base out of fives but no train whistle autographs. All right, ladies and gents, here is the next one. Is that an early, that's an early auto. This could be an autograph hotbox. Jonathan Davis, 39 out of 50 for the Blue Jays, Lou with the Bluebirds. Let's get this in focus, there we go. Yeah, look, it's looking like it. Here's another autograph. That's Brad Keller for the Royals. That's gonna be for Gilo. There you go, Gabe. Brad Keller blue to 75. All right. Tuki Toussaint wanted to reveal himself there. That's for the Braves. Brian with the Braves. And Usnail Diaz for the O's. That's going to be for Jeremy Anderson, who got the Orioles in one of those team randoms. Not number, I think former Dodger outfielder prospect. I think he came over, or he got sent over in that last year's Machado deal. There he is, Manny Machado, speaking of the devil. Out of 199, he's starting to rake for the Padres right now. He's heating up. Jacob deGrom to 125. And we've got Rangers, Dave Stewart, 29 out of 50. Yeah, that, that Dave Stewart. I didn't know he was a Ranger. I always think of him as, a, uh, as an Oakland A. I think he's a sports agent now. I think that's what he does now. Uh, a player representative. There's Blake Snell. To 150. And there's Garrett Hampson. All right, so that's your first autograph hot box. I only got it here, Joe. All right, Nick. Hey, thanks for hanging out, man. Congrats again on that. Good to meet you. Come visit again when we have all the stores set up. All right.
think it'll be done by November? Actually, yeah, it should be. I mean, well, we should have everything done within like a month or so. Or yeah, or you can come back before. Absolutely, man. Drive safe. Nice to meet you. There you go. Nick Stanley was hanging out for a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Picking up his Kyler Murray that he got yesterday. Who? Dark Chris. Was Dave Stewart a World Series MVP? Maybe. 89, maybe? No. Yeah, he was in 89. Yeah, yeah, my, my, my instinct was correct. In the 89 World Series over the Giants, I believe. Dave Stewart is a three-time World Series champ in 81. I, didn't, I don't remember the 81 one. But it wasn't 81 Dodgers? Is he on the Dodgers? <laughs> I do not. I, yeah, he was actually for a few years. He won with the Dodgers in 81 over the Yankees. Then he beat the Giants in ninety in eighty nine. That's where he won his World Series MVP. That was the Earthquake Series. Who was ninety three? Oh, I can look at the teams he played for. Oh, Blue Jays. I had Blue Jays nineteen ninety three. That was the that was the Joe Carter year, right? Against the Phillies, I think. So he came up with the Dodgers in '78. Then there's a then not in '80, not in '79 or '80, but then with the Dodgers '81 through '83. Then with the Rangers '83 to '85. Then the Phillies '85, '86. Then the A's '86 to '92. Then the Blue Jays for a couple seasons. Then another season with the A's. Yeah, so he has one with the with the Dodgers, the A's, and the Blue Jays. It's kind of wild. Oh, was it Blue Jays? Was it Blue Jays Braves in '93? No, it was Blue Jays Phillies in '93. When did the when did the Braves win the World Series? Was that '94, '95? There's Cody Bellinger to 199. And there's Garrett Hampson. Pink Velocity autograph for the Rocks. That goes to David Duffy. So Braves is 95, says Dennis. I think you're right. I think 91, Jeremy Anderson, was Twins, I believe. I think Twins. I forget who the Twins beat. Brave, maybe? Herman Marquez to 125. And there's Madison Bumgarner, who might be traded to 60. As nice. Trevor saying, 93 was the year John Allerud was chasing 400. There is Victor Victor Mesa. Nice rated prospect autograph. And that's for the Miami Marlins. That's for Eric Bailey. My fancy team name this year, what, for baseball or football? For baseball, it's just Team 16 because I was the 16th team in the current league that I joined, and that name just kind of stuck. For football, it's just Santa Monica Raiders. That's it. Nothing creative. I don't do, I don't do creative fantasy football names.
just about winning, G-Lo. Just winning fantasy leagues. Not about winning the clever name game. Although I did see your, your post Mahomes name, which I thought was clever. I like that. I take that clever name, fantasy team name time, to uh, to build my draft tiers and study my mock drafts and whatnot. That's what that's all about. I'm about winning. I won, I won my league last year, and I do it again this year. Box, folks. We're halfway through. Brian Peebles has Tyrone shoelaces for fantasy hoops. All right, Tyrone shoelaces. Got it. I don't know. I feel like in this day and age, you know, it's hard to create something like original. Fancy baseball team name, Team 16. Really easy. 16th team that entered the league, and it just and I never created a name for it. I was just defaulted by the system as Team 16. It just kind of stuck. And then I shortened it to T16, and the logo for my team is a T16 from Star Wars. Luke Skywalker used to blast Womp Rats in his T-16 back home, if you guys remember. We got Reese Hoskins to 50. Dakota Hudson to 99. Brian Peebles going, with, going White Walkers for most of his teams. I guess there, there has to be a lot of clever like Game of Thrones and sports references, right? There's Brad Keller, another one for G Lo, to 35. Nice low number. We'll sleeve and top load all of those and the autographs before they get sorted and shipped, of course. Nice. Rated rookie autograph Eloy Jimenez. EA with the Shy Sox. Nice one, Eric. And we've got Taylor Trammell, rated prospect autograph for the Reds. Matthew Bodner for the Red Legs. There you go. So a couple nice autographs there. I think Reds have a sneaky good young farm system. Maybe not that same. Maybe people know about it, but they've got a good young farm system. Jay, what's going on? We're doing well. As a group, feeling... How are we, as a group, feeling about some Ginter going on tonight? Not good at all, Jay. If you read the title of the description, it says Sunday. It won't be happening until tomorrow. That's why it says Sunday.
How does the 16 team league go for you? It's it's pretty tough. It's challenging. It's pretty. T it's a keeper league. It's uh, most of the guys are like big baseball fans, so you're not going to find much off the waivers. It's also um, there's also a fab budget for waivers, so you got to there are. Um, so yeah, that makes it difficult. So you have to win. You have to win your, and it's an auction draft too. So you have to win your draft, your auction draft, basically. So, and then try to try to sneak some guys off waivers. Oh, Jason has plenty to do, Chris. We're just not getting it in until tomorrow. There's Matt Chapman to 99. Nick Senzel for the Reds to 199. And there's, there he is, Vlad Guerrero Jr. Lou with the Blue Jays. There's Vlad Jr. Good looking card. Cody Bellinger to 60 for the Dodgers. Should be one more autograph in here. Where are you? Right there. It's Caleb Ferguson for the Dodgers. Rated rookie autograph going out to Ryan Redmond, who got randomized the Dodgers. At 6 out of 75. Still haven't seen the second autograph hot box yet, ladies and gents. Uh, do I see other? I uh, hopefully, hopefully, I'm seeing other orders coming in. Nice. I see about about six, seven orders coming in here. So let's see what we can get into next. Jay's in the baseball mood, ladies and gentlemen. Who wants to do the next optic? Next optic on jazbeescasebreaks.com is sold out. But we just need to do 11 more spots in that team random. It's only $27.99 on the team random. So we can do another one right now. I don't think anything else is sold out yet. How's that opulence do? I know opulence is moving along nicely. There we go, six teams left, six spots left in the Hawks number block, 12 left in the high-end team serial numbers. Um, Elements football is down to nine, that's in single digits. Jeremy Anderson thinks the hot box will be this bottom box right here, the last box. <laughs> Gilo spent for the week, he's gotta save up for certified. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we got a busy month, so so you gotta. I, I would encourage everyone to budget as, as as well as possible. Spread out your breaking budget over the month. So we've got certified football next week. 
Tribute Baseball next week, Immaculate Baseball next week, and Clearly Authentic Baseball next week. Next Friday, we've got Encased Basketball. Then at the last Wednesday of the month, we've got Majestic Panini, Majestic Football, Topps Chrome Baseball, Javi and Jumbo Editions, Immaculate Collegiate Football, and Contenders Optic, first year of Contenders Optic, Hybrid Product Basketball, which should be really huge. I'm looking forward to that. I love, I love uh, Contenders Optic Football, kind of marrying Contenders and Optic and creating that hybrid product. I can't wait to see that basketball-wise. Save your pennies, ladies and gentlemen. I was, as I was suggesting earlier, maybe uh, maybe sell some uh, sell some extra stuff that you don't need. You know what I mean? Ha like cards wise. Clean out the collection a little bit. Chris Shaw, a uh, Chris Shaw, not Straw. Chris Shaw for the Giants. That'll be for Adam. Adam got the Giants in a team random. There's Matt Chapman. Contenders Optic Basketball is going to be expensive. Probably will be. I'm sure it will be. But I'm sure it'll also sell like hotcakes on a secondary market. There's Madison Bumgarner. He might get traded Seven, out of 76. Where does he go? Who needs a Madison Bumgarner on their team? Brandon Lau, 101 out of 125. For the Rays, he's having a really nice season. Robert Throne got the Rays straight up. Rays could use a massive bum garner. I feel like the... Maybe the... Could the Brewers use a massive bum garner? Twins? Twins could use a massive bum garner? Cody Ballinger. Dodgers need relievers. Dodgers and everyone else in the league. Yeah, it's a high-end set, you load that elements. But don't worry, you don't have to. No one's forcing you to buy into that. You gotta save it for that certified next week. A little off topic, Jeremy Anderson. Kyle Korver signed with the Bucks. It's a pretty solid signing. All right, so I've not seen the second autograph hot box, so it's going to be in one of these last two boxes. Jeremy Anderson's guess was that last box right here. I got my TV set up right here. I think eventually we'll have it mounted above my other TV. Rory needs the Keston. You don't think the Keston will be in the hot box? Oh, were the hot boxes in the top two boxes? Did they, did they do that again this year? I thought they would have mixed it up a little bit. Sean Reed Foley. This might be the hot box. It's a little autograph. is a little early here. Uh, Blue Jays. That'll be for Lou.
We got Dennis Santana for the Dodgers. That'll be for Ryan Redmond. There's King Felix to 35. And it's Corbin Martin for the Astros to 125. We got Jake Bowers, two out of five for the Rays. Robert Throne with a two out of five Jake Bowers. I think this is my first train whistle autograph out of this set. Robert, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Sweet. A hot hit in this hot box. Colby Allard for the Braves, that's for Brian Peoples. To 125. And John Duplantier, rated prospect autograph for Mark Matheson and the Diamondbacks. Could be a closer someday, I think. But look at that. His K rate is wild. Well, they could stretch him out to be a starter, too. There's Alex Bregman to 150. All right, and there's your hot box, the four autographs plus the Jake Bowers Rays edition. <laughs> Jay's like, come on, Penny, season's half over, he's not even on the right team. Well, to be fair, it is an on-card autograph, so they probably, they probably had printed out the Rays, him as a Ray first, and he got him signed and sent back, and then he got probably got traded to the Indians. And Panini's probably like, come on. We did all this work to get these on-card autographs. And then he gets traded. Last box, boys and girls. Good luck. with a home run today. All right, last box. Last two autographs. Good luck, boys and girls. We've got another case in the store right now. Keep an eye out on that. I think we just have to fill up a quick team random and we can, we can do another case pretty easily. There's Albert Pujols to 150. We have Fernando Tatis Jr. autograph, yes. Rated prospect autograph. That's five for five 
on Tatis Juniors for Brian and, and the Friars. Not too shabby at all in the very last box, too. And Rowdy Tellez is your final autograph in this case, unless, unless they snuck in a bonus one here. Blue Jays, that'll be for Lou. Austin Riley for the Braves. Brian with that one as well. Ahmed Rosario for the Mets. Out of 125. And there's Garrett Hampson right there. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was your break. Let's do a quick autograph recap. And we'll have all these top loaded before they get shipped out, of course. Still got that Brad Keller though, Gilo. So a pretty nice case. And the out of five, Jake Bowers, was great too. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. We'll probably do another optic break tonight. Break six. Let's make it happen. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.